guys, welcome to episode two of Pineapple Knits. I'm Marina, and you can visit me on Instagram and Ravelry at Pineapple Yarn, and my hand-dyed yarn company at pineappleyarn.com. So how are you guys doing this week? I've had such a great week, and I just want to let you guys know I am so grateful for your feedback with my last podcast. I received the nicest comments the most lovely notes, and I am so grateful for your support, and especially just for taking the time to watch my podcast. I mean, we all have such a finite amount of time, and for you to spend that time with me, I so appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. I am really, really touched by your kindness. So I guess I'll just keep filming because I had a really great time. So this week has been so busy for me. Um, my kids are in soccer, and so uh, some of you with soccer kids know this is the season. This is really, really busy. Um, we do soccer probably five days a week, and um, yeah, so my life is all about soccer right now. Um, it's okay. My kids love it, and uh, the weather is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous out. So uh, it's kind of nice to have an excuse to sit outside and um, just enjoy some leisurely time. So we've been doing a lot of soccer this week and um, I have one of my daughter's birthdays coming up. So this past weekend I started her cake. She is, um, she's just precious. She's going to be five, and she is the girliest girl I've ever known. Um, I don't push the girly stuff with my kids, and they, this one just has latched onto the girly stuff. Um, so I decided to make her a mermaid cake, and um, this week I baked the cake. I, it's all in the freezer now, and or the layers are in the freezer. And I made some cute seashells and starfish from candy melts. So um, it's going to be a cute, um, kind of a petite three-layer cake with um, seashells and starfish all over it. I'm hoping that one of the layers maybe has some um, colorful mermaid scales on it. I'm not really sure. We'll see how much time I have this week. But um, yeah, it was. it's so far been really fast and easy, which is, that's kind of the projects I'm doing these days. <laughs> fast and easy. <laughs> So um, I'll show you guys a picture when I'm done with it, but we're really excited to celebrate that with her this week. So yeah, so anyway, that's what's been going on here. Um, let me show you what I'm drinking this week. I have my favorite lily mug, and I am drinking, um, the tea is called Mermaid Moringa. It's from David's Tea, and it is so good. It is absolutely delicious. It smells delicious. Um, I went to the David's Tea Store in Indianapolis, uh, which is right across from the Apple Store. So I was getting my phone fixed and I decided to stop at David's Tea while I was there and uh, they offered me a sample and after I tasted it, it was iced, it had no sweetener in it, and it was so delicious. So I had to buy some. So it is, if you're looking for a good summer, spring tea, this is so good. Iced, hot, whatever. And um, I actually bought it in this cute tin. It's just really fun. It has a turtle on it. So this is nice to have. Um, it's reusable, so I can just take it back when I run out. So it's a really special treat. It's really good. and. Um, I kind of laughed when I got it because I don't know if there's really any tea in it. So some of you who are not tea drinkers might really enjoy this tea. I think the vast majority of the tea itself is dried fruit. Um, I actually ate some, I mean, just to taste it, but it's dried fruit. It's so good. <laughs> so... If you're looking for something fruity, something fun for summer, Mermaid Moringa, it's really good.
right, so I do have a finished object for you guys this week. These are my little shorty socks I've been working on for one of my girls. Super simple shorty socks, I believe is the pattern by Megan Holcomb. I'll put it below just to make sure. And I just had to laugh at myself last week, you guys. I had told you um, correctly that this was hedgehog fibers, which it is. And the colorway, however, is not called Bali. It is called Fiji. So if you're looking for this color, don't look for Bali. Look for Fiji. Those tropical places will just kind of throw you off, right? But anyway, they're so, I love them. They're so bright. And um, they're made from I, the fibers BFL. So it is has a little bit of tooth to it, I guess, but I love this Ive Partridge heel. And I believe I knit these on um, Addy Sock Rockets because I always use them because they're fast. They're very slippery and fast. And I knit on a size zero. I tend to be a loose knitter. So um, with fingering weight yarn and socks, I usually use a zero. So yeah, these are really great. You can tell they're a little big on my uh, sock blockers because my daughter now has larger feet than I do. So <laughs> that's my finished object for this week. And I've also started another sock. This is so pretty. This is... Um, Oh my gosh, I believe this is 48 stitches, I'm not sure. And um, this yarn is by Moon River and it is stalagmite. This is the same yarn, this is actually the leftover yarn right here from my uh, Impressionist shawl that I showed you last week. So I had 33 grams left, so I was thinking, what if I did a some kind of endless sock or a tube that I could uh, put a cuff on one end, cuff on the other, and then cut in the middle and put toes on and then put an afterthought heel on? Because then I could use up all the yarn because I really, really love this yarn. And um, I thought about it before and then I actually saw um, uh, Kay from the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. She, I believe, is doing that as well. And so I thought, oh gosh, yeah, that's something that can be done. <laughs> that's a thing, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to knit and knit and knit, knit a tube and then cut it, put, a, put some toes in, heels on, and use up all this yarn. So that is the sock I'm working on this week. And um, yeah, that's fun because it's a kid knit. It's for one of my kids and it's going very quickly. You gotta love those tiny socks, right? <laughs> so my um, next project that I'm working on is the uh, Wondrous Moth Shawl by Lindsay Deegan. And I actually finished the first piece. This is, I think this is the front here. This is the teardrop shape. I, I think it looks like a teardrop in the very front. I think this is so pretty. I love this color. This is uh, Pineapple Yarn, my hand-dyed yarn company. Um, pineapple Yarn in Bubblegum. So it's like a very light, bright neon pink. So that'll be the front uh, on the bottom. And then... I started the second piece. I'll go ahead and show you. This is the second piece. So this uh, red piece here, this short red piece, will actually attach to the pink. And this long, it's really long on my needles, it will kind of angle like this, and then the pink, should grab the pink. The pink will be right in 
the lamp. So kind of like this, but it's gonna look really, really pretty together. I wanted to do something that was color blocked. I have actually been really into neon yellow lately. I've just, I don't know why, I've really, really wanted to wear something that's neon yellow. So once I finish this edge, there is a mirror image on the other side of this piece. And then the triangular portion, the main body of the shawl is going to be neon yellow. So um, it's gonna be really bright, but I can see it in my mind and I'm really excited for it. So we'll see how it turns out. This is um, pineapple yarn in Heartbreaker. And it is so beautiful. I love this yarn. It's um, a very saturated red and pink. It has some um, subtle speckles in it. And this is on a wonderful base. It is my panda base and it has bamboo in it. So it's a merino woolen bamboo, which is so soft and drapey and it is wonderful in shawls. It's really, um, really kind of a shame I'm only using it in a small piece of the shawl because this is really a wonderful base. And um, so then this is a just a standard sock base. This is pineapple yarn in Waikiki. This was, this is a really uh, all-time favorite for you guys. It is a pale gray base with tons of neon speckles, neon in other colors, but it is such a fun colorway. So I'm excited to be working with that. And so yeah, I've got this much done. I have about maybe 10 more rows of this and then I add on another color. So this is, this has been a really fun shawl to make so far and I am really excited to see how it's going to look when it's done. So yeah, th that's what I'm working on. I'm actually um, a pretty big monogamous knitter. I um, don't like to have a lot of whips going on at, at any given time. I'm not sure why. I think I am a project knitter versus a process knitter. So I'm all about cranking out the projects. I like to have projects done. I don't like to have things languishing. Um, this is just kind of my personality too. So uh, yeah, so these things that I'm working on, that's it. I really don't have, I think I have one thing that is, um, it's a baby sweater and I started it before I was um, pregnant with my uh, new baby that I have. So I couldn't knit when I was pregnant. It just, it made me too ill. So I still have that, I still have a baby sweater, but um, I think, I, I'm thinking of the size, it's a six month size. I think it's gonna be too small for him by the time we have uh, cool weather again. So it'll have to be a gift knit and I'd rather focus on these things right now than think about that. So um, yeah, so let me tell you what's going on in my shop this week. Um, as some of you may know from last week, I am going to be reopening my store, Pineapple Yarn, and I'm so excited about it. I feel like it's just been so long since, it, I, it has been a long time since I've been open. So um, yeah, it's going to be open this Friday, May 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will have uh, a good deal of yarn in the store. I will have project bags and I will have my macaroon um, stitch marker cases, which I should have brought to show you, but you can check it out this Friday. Um, and I also got something new that I'm kind of excited about. This is... Um, what I'm calling my petite pineapple enamel pin. And it is just such a cutie. It's about uh, three quarter inches tall. So it is more petite than um, typical enamel pins. 
and I just think it's adorable. I think it is so cute. I love the colors. I love the um, gold on it. And then also, which is really cool, is I have a um, rubber back. So I'm hoping that it will uh, not snag on your knitting. It will hold the pin more securely. So we'll see. I'm going to have some of those in the shop and they are going to be packaged with these cute backer cards and enveloped in a cellophane bag. So they're going to be packaged really cute too. So I hope you guys like those. I think they're just so cute. And um, let me show you some yarn that's going to be in the shop. Okay, so um, before I show you this yarn, I want to tell you that on my labels, on all of my labels, I have handmade in Hawaii, and which is true. This yarn was made in Hawaii, but it will be shipping from Indiana, so which is where I currently live. So I wanted to let you guys know that because um, I didn't want you to be disappointed if uh, you haven't been following me in the past year and didn't know I'd moved. So I didn't want you to be disappointed that it wasn't shipped directly from Hawaii. Um, I will have new labels. I have plans to get them printed, but I feel like it's kind of a waste to tear all my labels off right now and to relabel everything um, if the labels are good. You know, we gotta we gotta conserve here, people, right? So this is one of my favorite colors. This is neon coral, and it is very bright. It is so bright, it's a tonal color. This is on uh, just a standard sock yarn base. It's a 75-25 merino and nylon. But this is really, really pretty. I love this. So there will be several of these in the shop. And the next one I want to show you guys, this one is called Mermaid Doll, and um, this skein has been reskained, so you can see all the colors mixed up together. This is so playful and fun and springtime summery. Um, I named this after one of my girls' dolls, uh, literally a mermaid doll. <laughs> And these were the colors. I was just really inspired by those colors. So yeah, some fun speckles in there, pinks, and a really pretty kind of oceany blue and the bright green. So this is called Mermaid Doll. And the next one I want to show you is called Penny. And this is kind of a departure from some of my more tropical theme yarns and you know springy summery flavors I guess but um, I just think this is a beautiful yarn it's called penny obviously it looks like a penny I think it has the copper it has um, gray in there too I think this is just such a pretty subtle yarn almost a neutral but um, yeah, I think this is a really pretty one. This is called Penny. And um, this next one is called Breakwater, and it's a very subtle, speckly, um, it has pale yellow, pale blue, some, it's almost like grayish. It's kind of a, like a warm gray or a cool um, beige color. And then it just has some subtle speckles there. And I actually have a sweater quantity in the shop right now of this. I had designed this for, I think I designed it when the featherweight cardigan had come out because I thought this would be such a beautiful featherweight. And this is called Breakwater. And let me get the last one here. I dropped it. This one is called Glassy Wave and it is, this is on a single, 
I think it's reading more blue on the screen than it actually is because it is a really beautiful um, kind of like a pale blue green and a pale yellow green um, kind of a tonal and then it has just some little let's see if I can get those speckles in there we go. some really beautiful there's a speckle there very um, subtle speckles I got these right here so this I think is stunning this is on a single uh, merino wool base and um, I think this would just be a beautiful shawl you know what this would be great in is part of a um, fade this would be really really pretty so yeah, this one's called glassy wave but that's really all I have to show you guys today um, I am super excited to reopen my shop um, you know, one thing I actually did want to mention, the other thing I'm really excited about is um, in addition to reopening my shop this week, I think, fingers crossed, that I will be dyeing yarn again starting next week. And so I am so excited. I have a list of colorways I can't wait to bring back to you. And I'm just I am so, so excited to start dyeing yarn again and listing it in the shop. So if you have any, um, if there's anything on your wish list, if you have any colorways that you have in mind that you'd like to see in the shop, um, leave me a comment below or email me. Um, there's also a contact page at pineappleyarn.com. Um, and I would love to hear from you about what colorways you'd like to see. So I will be doing that hopefully, hopefully next week. So yeah, I think that is it. I hope to see you guys this Friday, May 18th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. My shop will be reopening. It will stay open for a long time, hopefully. And I hope to also bring you another podcast next week if everything works out. Um, here in the States, it's, Memo it's Memorial Day weekend next week, so um, a lot of times people take vacations and little getaways, so it's going to be another busy week next week. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get you guys another podcast next week, though. So if you will, I would so appreciate if you could like and subscribe to my podcast, and until next time I see you guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Bye, guys.